I just found out some devastating news. My wife, she cheated on me with my best friend. Yeah, I know it sounds horrible, but I'm not even that mad about it, to be honest, because I've seen her red flags over the past few months, and I'm actually going to do something I probably shouldn't. I'm going to get her fired, I'm going to get him fired, and I'm going to make sure that they feel what I felt when I found them in my bed. I thought I had the perfect life, you know, a beautiful wife, Emily, two great children, and an amazing best friend, David. Emily and I have been married for 10 years, and David and his wife Lisa were our closest friends. We did everything together, and I trusted them completely. Well, that all changed when David decided to run for city council. I'm an IT guy, so I helped him out by creating an online campaign strategy. He didn't know anything about social media. <laughs> Emily. She works for the Parks and Recreation Department, so she started promoting his campaign to her co-workers and friends. As the campaign went on... Emily and David started spending more and more time together. Late nights, long meetings, yeah, you know the drill. I didn't think much of it at first, but then Emily started acting shady as hell. She was always on her phone texting nonstop, and she barely paid attention to me or the kids. One night, I borrowed Emily's laptop and found a bunch of intimate texts between her and David, and I felt sick to my stomach. It was very clear. They were having an affair. Both emotionally and physically, and I confronted Emily, and she admitted to everything, saying she wanted to leave me for David. I was devastated and mad. I wasn't about to let them get away with this crap. I mean, I had a buddy, who's a PI, so I asked him to dig up more dirt on their affair. He found out that they've been hooking up at a hotel during their work trip, ugh, and that some of their colleagues had even seen them together but kept their mouth shut. I also found out that Emily was up for a big promotion at work. I knew that an affair between a city employee, oh yeah, and a city council member, oh, well that could stir up a bit of trouble. So I decided to use that to my advantage. I made a fake email account and anonymously tipped off the city council about their affair, including every bit of evidence, every shred that I had from my PI buddy. They started an investigation and David was forced to resign just to avoid the public crap storm that was... Well, basically inevitable. Uh, Emily's promotion. Yeah, that was put on hold. She got in trouble with HR even, but I wasn't really satisfied at that yet. I wanted to make them suffer like I did. Well, I got into Emily's work emails where she had been talking crap about her boss and co-worker. Yeah, if you guessed it, I forwarded those emails to her boss from a fake account. And she got demoted. Her reputation at work was absolutely ruined. When Emily found out what I've done, she was furious, she was beside herself, she broke down. She tried to confront me when she stopped crying, but just, well, I laughed in her face. I told her she deserves everything she got for betraying me and our own family. I mean, does she even care about the kids? In the end, we got divorced, and I made sure to fight for equal custody of our children. Little did I know, I actually won full custody because the court did not see Emily sound fit. Emily's career never recovered. She had to move to another city just to find part-time work. And David's wife, oh yeah. She left them and took their children and became their laughing stock of our town. It's been about a year since everything went down and I'm just still bitter as hell. It's my anniversary. That's why I'm sharing this. Ugh, I don't think I'll ever be able to trust anyone fully again. But I'm focusing on my children. My own happiness even. Emily! Uh, Emily! She tried to reach out and apologize recently, but I ignored her. She can live with the consequences of her actions. So, yeah. That's my story. Betrayal sucks, man. But sometimes you have to take matters into your own hands and make the people pay who hurt you. It's not pretty, but hey, I did it for my children. What's up, everybody? Mr. Redito here. Oh, man. I just want to let you know the next update is actually coming from Emily. She saw the post, one of her buddies sent it to her, and now she's uh, posting her own post. We're going to jump into that and see exactly what she thinks about her ex smearing her name. Here's Emily. Hey, this is my side of the story. I'm not the villain that you think that I am. I never thought I would uh, have to defend myself on the interwebs, but here we are. 
My ex-husband, Mark, yeah, you probably know him, well, he decided to air our dirty laundry for everyone to see, painting me as some kind of heartless monster Well, I'm here to set the record straight. First of all, let me make one thing crystal clear. I'm not proud of what I did. Cheating on Mark with his best friend David was a mistake, but it's not like my marriage was perfect before that. I was trapped in a boring, unfulfilling life, and my job at the Parks and Rec Department was the only thing keeping me sane. When I met David, everything changed. We had an instant connection, and he made me feel alive again, and we started spending more and more time together, working on his city council campaign, and I found myself falling for him. Sue me! It wasn't just about the physical attraction. He understood me in a way that Mark never did. I know what you're thinking, but Emily, you were married. You had children. Believe me, I know. But after years of feeling neglected by Mark, who was always working and never had time for me or our children, I needed something more. I deserved to feel wanted and appreciated, and David gave me that. Yeah, David and I, um, we saw a couple's therapist, but it wasn't um, to betray our spouses. We were trying to find a way to end our marriage peacefully without causing too much damage, but of course, Mark could not let it happen. So, when I found out what Mark had done, sabotaging my promotion and ruining my reputation at work, obviously, I was absolutely furious. I mean, wouldn't you be? He had no right to interfere with my career just because he was bitter about our divorce. And the way he jumped into my emails, I don't even know how he knew the password. He exposed my private conversation with coworkers. First of all, not only is that low, that actually might be illegal. I'm not perfect, but I'm not that evil jerk Mark made me out to be. I've always put my children first, and I believe that. I deserve to be happy, too. Yeah, I get it. I didn't get full custody. But it's because they said I didn't have a job, and hello, that's because he got me fired. Ugh, I've always put my babies first. You know, if that makes me selfish in your eyes, so be it. I've uh, forgiven myself for what I did, and I don't need anyone else's approval. So, yeah. Well, as for David's wife, Lisa, I think she needs to take a hard look at her own role in all of this. If she had been more understanding of David's needs, maybe he would not have turned to me. But that's not my problem anymore. I'm ready to move on with my life. I won't let Mark or anyone hold me back. I know my actions had consequences, but I've learned from my mistakes and I'm stronger because of them. So go ahead. Judge me all you want in the comments. Call me names. Tell me I'm a terrible person because I jumped out of the marriage. But remember, you only know one side of the story until you're here too. You don't know what it's like to walk in my shoes to feel the way I felt. I did what I had to do. So yeah, in the end, I'm not asking for your forgiveness or understanding. What's up, everybody? Oh, man, let me know what you think of her response. Some of the commenters said that she sounds condescending. However, there's one more update, because it looks like the original OP, Mark, he's back, and he has a little words to say about Emily's response. Here it is, the final update, my cheating ex-wife just couldn't keep her mouth shut. Ugh, me, oh my... I can't believe I'm back on this godforsaken account. I thought I was done with this crap, but apparently, my cheating ex-wife Emily just could not resist the urge to spew her nonsense all over my original post. It's been years, Emily! And she still has to try to justify her affair with my ex-best friend David. First of all, before I hop on to what I think about her, she has not cared for these kids. They're growing up, not even seeing her. She doesn't try to see them. She lied to y'all. You know, I read her pathetic attempt to play the victim, and I'm calling it out for what it is. Complete and utter crap. She tries to paint our marriage like it was some kind of prison, and that David was her knight in shining armor. Give me a break. She betrayed me, our children, and everything we built together, all because she couldn't keep her legs closed, and she blames me for losing her job? Oh, and the best part, she has the nerve to blame me and Lisa for not being understanding enough. Oh, like it's our job to accommodate her cheating on this. I, I can tell from her self-righteous attitude that she has not changed a bit. Once selfish, always selfish, but you know what? I'm over it. I've moved on, and I'm doing great. 
I started my own IT company and it's taking off like a rocket. I'm making bank. And I don't have to deal with Emily's toxicness anymore. Our children, they don't even ask about her, like I said. They've moved on just like I have. I've blocked her number. I've blocked her email. I've blocked everything because I never want to hear from her lying self again. She had her chance to be a part of our lives and she blew it, man. Oh yeah, get this. Lisa and I started dating. Yeah, she would hate to hear that. David's ex-wife, remember her? We bonded over this crap where our exes put us through. And it's been pretty incredible. I mean, she's awesome. I, she says we're healing together, whatever that means. And it's a giant middle uh, finger to Emily and David. Speaking of David, I don't know what happened to that man. I couldn't care less. He basically disappeared off the face of the earth. Last I heard, he was still trying to salvage his reputation, but oh, good luck with that one, buddy. He ruined his own life, and now he has to deal with the consequences. As for Emily, I hope she's miserable. I mean, I really do. I hope she realizes that she threw away uh, me and regrets it every single day. I hope she sees this post, and I hope that she knows I'm with a better woman now, Lisa. She could never be half the woman Lisa is. But knowing her, she'll just find some other a dumb excuse to come into my life again. I mean, that's just who she is. In the end, I'm thankful for this whole messed up experience. It was hell, but it made me stronger. So to all you poor people out here dealing with cheating exes, stay strong. Focus on yourself, your children, and your own happiness. And never let those lying cheaters back into your life. See ya. What's up, everybody? I want to read some comments from today's story. The first one is arguing with somebody. So here it is. Comment one says, dude, I get that you're angry, but don't you think it's time to let it go? It's been years. You said that yourself and you're still holding on to the grudge, move on with your life. Stop giving your cheating ex the satisfaction of knowing she still gets under your skin. You're doing great now, so focus on that instead of wasting your energy on someone who does not deserve it. That's pretty good advice, but there's a commenter who does not agree and says, let it go? Are you serious? This guy's wife literally just cheated on him with his best friend and tried to play the victim. She doesn't deserve forgiveness, and OP has every right to be mad. Just because time passed doesn't mean the betrayal hurts any less. If holding on to that anger is what helps him move on, the more power to him. He doesn't owe his wife a damn thing. Guys, these two are at this point getting into a heated argument because the first commenter comes back. But hey, before we get to this third comment, I want to know whose side are you on? Here it is. I'm not saying he owes her forgiveness, but holding on to anger and bitterness is only going to hurt him in the long run. It's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. He clearly is just doing well for himself now, so why let his cheating ex continue to have power over his emotions? I think the best revenge is living well and being happy, not staying stuck inside of the past. Yeah, guys, that's pretty good advice, honestly. If I had to choose between a comment, I would go with that commenter there, the first one. But there is one more response, so let's read it. Final comment says, I get what you're saying, but sometimes anger is necessary. It's a part of healing. OP was betrayed in the worst way possible. It's natural for him to still feel mad. When his ex tried to justify her actions, I mean, he's not letting her have power over him. He's just expressing his honest feelings. And who says he's not living well and being happy? He's got a successful business, a new relationship, and kids who moved on. That sounds pretty darn good to me. Alright, let me know whose comment you're rocking with in our comment section down below, guys. Welcome, this is my revenge channel, and I drop a revenge story every single day. If you want to be a part of these stories, make sure you subscribe, guys. Have a great day, I'll see you tomorrow, and of course, remember... It's cool to be kind. Peace.